I actually just got finished up shooting quite a few other videos and I'm pretty excited about sharing this week. One in particular that should be coming out hopefully this week whenever this video, well, what is today? It doesn't matter. You probably know. Today is Monday the 11th at 319 here in Tennessee in one of our old barns here. Um, anyways, I'm really excited about one of the videos I'm going to be putting out here. It's about uh, something important to me, something I've wanted to talk about for quite some time and just have hesitated. And so it's coming out. Uh, be on the lookout for that this week. In the meantime, I am smoking The Thunder, which is a cigar that uh, somebody sent to me, Mr. Degan sent to me. Thank you, sir. This thing is delicious. I was about to finish and uh, go inside, but I still have the cigar, so... I didn't want to waste it, so I thought, well, may as well go live here. So, I'll talk a little bit about, uh, blah, blah. I'll talk a little bit about, good lord, I won't talk at all, apparently. I will talk a little bit about the cigar, do a little review, and then, um, I don't know, wait for uh, comments to start rolling in from the six of you watching right now. Part of my goal, by the way, is to become a lot more consistent and, uh, What's the other word? Discipline with YouTube here. I really want to grow this channel. And uh, I have a lot of plans for, well, my life in general. And YouTube's a part of that. So uh, if you like if you like this channel, uh, I would love your, your help moving forward, sharing these videos and that kind of thing. Good stuff's coming. Trust me. Somebody commented before I talk about this cigar. Let me just, let me get, wait, wait, where is it? Oh. My tobacconist likes those cigars. He cuts them into plugs and smokes them through his pipe. What? Tell me more about that. I don't understand that at all. Discipline, is, that's what I was trying to say. All right, let me fix this camera a little bit. There we go. All right, so this cigar, if you've never had one, it's delicious. I talked about it in another video. The, the scent, the aroma, before you even light it, just the smell of the cigar, to me, I don't know why, it, it reminded me of like a campfire in the woods. Like when I was growing up, my family and I would always go up to the California Redwoods, the Pacific, no, right? Coastal Redwoods, dear Lord. The coastal Redwoods around like kind of Humboldt area and love it up there. But that was camping for me growing up and we'd have a big campfire at night. And I remember the next morning there was just this aroma from the, the ashes from the fire, I guess, still sort of smoldering. The trees, just the air. It was always foggy and misty. For some reason, smelling this cigar reminded me of that. And so far, after smoking this thing, it is a treat. Mm. It's bold, it's dark. Tastes like a cigar. I don't know. I'm not going to do a full review. <sighs> Maybe I will. I don't know what I'm doing here. But uh, that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the video. I'm basically just gonna keep this live stream going until I smoke through this thing. See there, I'm not doing a great job, but uh, I need to spin it more. You guys do that if you smoke cigars? Like, apparently, when you uh, breathe in, you don't breathe in, but when you take the cigar into your your mouth, by the way, there's there's literally a spider crawling on my phone right now. My daughter would be so freaked out right now. Um, but the, the oxygen, the air, apparently, I think, if I remember right, comes through the bottom of the cigar more than the top. So if your cigar, or maybe it's the other way around. It's one of the two. But if you start to see that your cigar is burning more heavily on one side than on like the top than the bottom, then all you do is turn it over. At least that's what I've heard. So what? What do you want me to do? <laughs> Um, let's see another comment. He said what he does is he cuts the cigar about an inch or so off the tip. Oh, and places and places it in his pipe really and smokes it through the day. That's interesting. I've never tried that. I, I might give that a go. Wow. That's a great idea. That's a good video idea. I, I might try that cut off some of this. So you basically just take the leaves like do you crush it? Do you take the cigar crush it up a little bit? And then smoke it through the pipe? I wonder. I need to look that up. Pretty interesting. Well, I'll give you a little update where I'm out here in Tennessee on our Blackwood, Blackwood? Blackwood Farmstead. Uh, homestead? I don't know what we're going to call it. Uh, not Blackwood. Blackburn. 
Jeez, is Blackwood, that's a cigar, right? That's like a cheap cigar. Blackburn, I don't know where my head's at. I've talked a lot. I've done quite a few videos in the last little bit. There's something about your videos that's so relaxing. You sweetheart, Joe Harry. Would love to see another pipe video again soon. Oh, you're going to. I just gotta get some tobacco. Dang it, it's starting to rain. I'll show you the rain uh, here in Tennessee. I was gonna go show you the progress we've made on our house here, but uh, it's raining. Who wants to go out in that? Uh, all right, I'll show you the rain though. Hit this button. It's starting to get green out here. Well, I can't really see anything, but it is raining a bit. Ah, whatever. I don't really feel like doing a house tour, so let's not do that. I do, however, feel like sitting down. This is where I was uh, filming the video, so this is exciting. What else could you possibly want to watch on YouTube? Nothing. Nothing but somebody showing you where they sit in a barn. So, uh, look at that tin roof. Yeah, I tell you what, the rain sounds good in here. So, part of, here, talk about this a little bit. I have for a while, well, so YouTube hates tobacco videos. Uh, they consider tobacco videos harmful or dangerous acts. And so, I'm gonna put this back here. So what that means for me in trying to grow the channel is that uh, I don't make any money with YouTube. I mean, very, very little, like maybe 80 bucks a month, sometimes more, but not much because um, the channel's small. And so the goal of growing the channel isn't so that I get YouTube ad revenue or money. Like nobody really gets a lot of money. Well, some people do, I guess. But anyways, what happens is that because YouTube limits the ads that can run on the videos that have tobacco related talking or showing of tobacco products in them, they limit the ads. Well, YouTube runs videos and promotes videos that get a lot of ad revenue. Like that's what they're in business to do. And so it kind of hinders the potential growth of this channel when I do too many tobacco videos. So I've been for a while trying to figure out like how can I do some other videos that are not tobacco related but still of an interest of those folks who um, started watching this channel because of the tobacco videos. And for a while, I've had an idea of what I wanted to push into. It's, a, it's an area of my life that is extremely important to me. It's something I'm kind of obsessed with now. And, uh, but I just didn't know how people would react to it. And so I won't tell you what it is. That's gonna be coming out in a video, an official video, hopefully this week. Um, but I'm very interested to know what everyone thinks and hope that everyone's on the same bandwagon and uh, we can kind of work together toward something that I think is very important. That's all I'll say. So, whew, dang, this thing is delicious. I'm just gonna show you, ah, it got ash on me. Let me show you uh, what this thing looks like. Is it, is it mirrored for you? It's only mirrored for me, right? Can you read that? I don't know. I think Thunder is just a great name for a cigar anyways. All right, well, this is pretty boring. No one's really saying anything. If you're watching this right now, say something. <laughs> say something. Give me, give me some talking points. Pretend we're here having a conversation. That's the problem with these live videos. I mean, I guess if you watch them live, it's, it's fine. When you go back and watch a live video, I hate them because all it is is somebody reading comments and you just don't feel like you're a part of the conversation. But for the seven of you watching this right now, you can be part of this conversation here. Yep, read it loud and clear. Oh, good. You know, because the, the, it doesn't matter. Anyways. Ooh. It's um, 3.30 here in Tennessee. And I've got to get in. I've got to go do some more work. Got to finish some things up. But um, I wanted to take a quick break here. Trying to be, I'm trying to be very strict with my schedule. Um, and so I've been getting up, just so you know, personal stuff. It doesn't really matter. I've changed my schedule. I've been getting up at 5 a.m. every day and doing quite a bit of work in the morning. And then um, it leaves me, my afternoon's a little bit more free because the afternoons, what I do for a living is editing, video editing. And afternoons tend to be a terrible time for me to edit just because the world is awake. Oh, Chris, you get up at 4 a.m. every day? Really? De Whew. That's impressive. I would like to know more about that. 
You should let me know more about that. Why do you get up at four? Well, I mean, if, it, if you get up at, work, at four because you have to for work, that's, that's not as impressive as me because I could get up anytime I want. So I think I'm probably better than you, Chris. <laughs> Out the door by 4.30. Dang, that's nuts. Is that because you have to commute to work? Like what is, what is, what gets you up at 4 a.m.? I'd like to know more. That's impressive. Um, anyways, video editing in the afternoon kind of falls apart. Really by like, who, why, do you care about this? No, nobody cares about this, but I'm going to talk about it anyways, because I don't know. Why not? Um, by about 12, 1 p.m., it just sort of falls apart because I get a, a lot more like text, emails, distractions come in. There's just stuff going on throughout the day. So it's, for editing, you know, sitting behind a computer, you kind of get into this like editing space where you're just, you edit, you, it's like this zone you get into. It's tough to do during the day. It's definitely best in the morning. So I'm trying to schedule my days so that I do things like this uh, for a window in the afternoon when it's just not good editing time and then get back to it uh, a little bit later in the afternoon when things calm down a little bit, get a few more hours in, but most of it happens in the morning. Is that, that's important for you to know. Important for you to know my schedule, isn't it? Mm. Oh, when you smoke a cigar, how many puffs do you typically give? Like, are you a one puffer? Like you just, just a big old draw? Or do you tend to, uh, like I, I just, I'm noticing this in myself. I tend to puff it more, I think. Like two or three or four or five puffs to where you really get that smoke going. I don't know. Greetings from Baltic states. Baltic states. Tell me more about that. Baltic states. I don't even know anything. One puffer, says Matthew Pohl, for those of you potentially watching this later, and you're like, what are you reading? I'm reading comments on my phone right now. That's all I'm doing. Mm. Side note, I'm not asking any of you to do this, okay? I'm not asking for your money, but I want your money. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to set up the super chats to where people can like, you know, you give like a dollar and something. I don't even know what happens, but I've seen other YouTubers do it. And they're just like, oh, thanks, Tommy, for sending $10. Thanks, Bill, for sending $15. I'm like, how the heck are they doing that? I know it's Super Chats, and I tried to set it up. Do you guys see that option in there now, by chance? Greetings from up the road in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I've been to uh, Murfreesboro twice now. See $100. What does that mean? I don't know. I'd like to know how this works, though. It says $100 did it work. What does that mean? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm curious. What does Super Chat do? How does it work? I have no idea, Skinny River. $100, did it work? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just curious. I want to get that working because I think that'd be awesome. Is it in your account now? That would be amazing. How cool would that be? I have no idea. I, I, I hope so. If you did that, you're now my favorite, good sir. That would be, how cool would that? I just think, I mean, first of all, how lazy is that? Like, I get there's, you know, full-time YouTubers, he is trolling. Yeah, you're trolling. I, I just wonder, like, I look at YouTubers who do this kind of thing. They go live and they're just, people start sending them money. I think that's, that seems lazy a little bit, but I, I'll be lazy for that. I don't care. Mm. It would be, not, how, <coughs> I w so, so Joe Harry <coughs> says $9.99, 99 cents and a thank you thing. Is that a real thing? If it is, you're, my, you're now my favorite, Joe Harry. I don't know. I'm be, I'd be interested. This is the first time I've tried it. So if that works, if that does something, dang, that'd be cool. I think it did. So now it has a little star that says 10 night. What? Is that how that works? I'm seeing this live. If that worked... And somebody just sent $9. Dang. I feel like a lazy jerk. Here's the thing, though. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to change. Like I already talked about. I'm changing some things on the channel that I think most of the people who watch this channel will be appreciative. Not appreciative of. That's stupid. But, oh, Matthew Pohl. I think it's working, gang. That's crazy to me. That blows me. That's stupid. Not You're not stupid for sending... $10. That's, cr that's just crazy. When I watch 
like live YouTubers do this? I'm like, what the heck? What are you offering these people? Like, why? Are Anyways, what I'm trying to do with um, the channel is, I think, gonna be really cool. And I think that most of you, most of you, most of the people who watch this um, will be like-minded with. And I think will be worthwhile. And I, I think it's important. It's at least something that's very important to my life, in my life right now. And I think uh, will resonate with those of you who watch this channel. So keep watching this week. I'm really excited for the content I'm gonna be putting out. I'm uh, really trying to take this much more seriously. All right, let me see here. Somebody said, do you like coffee? Heck yeah, I love coffee. As much as tobacco and bourbon, oh, ye no. I like tobacco and bourbon way better than coffee, and I love coffee, but tobacco and bourbon, I would say in priority, bourbon's number one, but right now I'm doing this, I'm doing a 75 hard, you guys heard of that? I'm doing 75 hard, so that means no alcohol for uh, 75 days, and probably longer, I wanna keep doing this, but I love bourbon. So bourbon would be my, my number one, probably then tobacco, although a tobacco pipe, that's tough to beat. Dang, $20. I'm just curious if this is real. I see people, like it's saying that people are, are sending money, which is insane to me. But I'm like, is that, I don't even know if it's real. I'll stop talking about that because somebody watching this video later is gonna be like, this guy's just a moron. But um, anyways, that would be my preference. If there were three items in front of me, uh, a bottle of bourbon, some tobacco and coffee, and I could, uh, dang, that's crazy. Sorry, I'm reading comments right now. That's nuts if this is, I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's just mind-blowing to me. Um, so if you could only have, I will ask you guys this too, if you're in the same boat. If you could choose bourbon, coffee, or tobacco for one year, you had to get rid of the other two. You know, the, the, those are your preference. The, I don't know what I would take, but I think it would be bourbon. I think I would get rid of coffee and tobacco to have bourbon for a year, but I don't know, that's tough. I love coffee, yeah. All right, let me go through the comments, see what's happening here. Dang, gang, I think it's, I think you guys are sending me real money, which is, again, I'm sorry, I'm key harping on this, but it just blows me away. It makes me feel like a real jerk. I, I appreciate it so much, that's just nutty. Um, coffee. Everyone says coffee. Wow. I mean, I do. You, would you say overall, what's the most addictive of those three? Uh, bourbon or just alcohol, tobacco, not cigarettes, but like cigar, cigars and pipes aren't addictive. So that doesn't count. Coffee, I would say is the most addictive out of those. So I get that that would be the toughest to get rid of because I have quite a few cups of coffee every day and love it. But Man, good bourbon, that's tough to beat. Keep the coffee and mourn for a year over tobacco. Yeah, it would, it would be a tough one. Because the thing is, all of those go well together. Do you agree, guys that sit together, like you, have, you just have a friend over? For me, I'm, I'm not a very good conversationalist. I don't love talking to people. I mean, I, love, I like talking to people, but it's difficult for me. I just have, I'm, I'm just shy. I guess. So um, it's hard. If it's just like one-on-one -on -one conversation, even with friends of mine, it's kind of like, I, I kind of have a, a more difficult time with that. I feel like that's kind of something maybe true for guys in general, but if you have like something in your hand, you have some tobacco, you, have, you smoke some cigars together, have some coffee or some bourbon, it makes all the difference. So what am I talking about now? I have no idea. Are you going to brand your own cigar line? I've, talk, I've thought about that. I think as the channel grows, when I get to a point, maybe I want to get the channel to like 50,000 subscribers as fast as I can. I think once I got to that point, I might do a cigar thing. I, I don't want to tell you. I, I can't tell you. Just keep watching this week. I'm going to, I have, I have some ideas for things I want to do. Some of them, part of it is related to tobacco, but, uh, other things that are, I think, even more important, especially for our world right now. That makes it sound, I'm gonna change the world. No, I'm not. That's stupid. But together, together we can make a difference. Hmm. Dang. This thing. 
I like a, a good, dark, peppery, bold cigar. This thing is it. It is delicious. I'm gonna look through, ah, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm still blown away that people have, that, you know, that it worked, that people can just send money like this. What a weird, I guess, this side tangent here. Am I, I don't think I'm the only one, but does it drive you crazy how you cannot go to any store with a point of sale, with like a, with like a, uh, a register and not be asked for a tip everywhere, even for the most stupid things that like, why would I give you a tip for this? This, you know, like I get it. I get it if it's like a service kind of industry, like a restaurant where people are working for their, for the money they're serving you. I get that. But when somebody just like hands you a cup of coffee, even then, like maybe you give them a little bit of a tip, but I'm trying to think there was a store the other day that was just like a regular store. I can't remember what it was. It was literally nothing. The person had to do nothing, but they flipped the screen around and asked for a tip. And they're like, please just fill out the, fill out the other side of the screen. Ask for a tip. It drives me crazy. But I feel like that's kind of what this is now is like, I'm doing a live video. And it's like, hey, tip me. I don't need it. I, 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 want your, I want your money. Don't get me wrong. I want to do YouTube full time. That's where I want to get to eventually. It's a long, difficult road, but so money's a part of that. Anyways, I need my lighter. Let's get that. Let's. You're not going to get my lighter. I'm going to get my lighter. Okay. Let me flip the camera around. Beep. Hit that button. Um, all of my good lighters are over in my car, unfortunately, but I've got something in here that will light this. It's a lighter, but where and what? Boy, this video got, oh, hey, not bad. This isn't my favorite lighter, but it's okay. All right, let's see. All right, oh, let me read. There's some good comments coming through, I think. Let me light this thing. Okay. Mm. Mm. Dang. Oh, hello. Whew. Don't you hate when, when you get smoke in your face when you're smoking a cigar? It's the stupidest thing to complain about. I'm moving down here. Right there. All right, I wanted to see some of these comments. There were some good ones. Uh, let's see. Right now I'm smoking some Peterson Standard Mixture in my cob pipe. Nice. I've got a cob pipe right there. What, uh, do you prefer a grateful pipe and cigar? Do you prefer a corn cob pipe? Is that your preference? I like a good corn cob. In South Africa, we have car guards. They help, quote, help to navigate you in and out of a parking lot. Always expecting a tip, so annoying. Interesting. South Africa, that's crazy. Mm. Ah, oh, dang. Let me get this thing going here. <coughs> oh, God. Okay. I can't smoke. Let me see more of these comments here. Don't tip anyone that is earning over minimum wage. Tips are for servers that earn server wages. Hey, is that a thing, Victor W? In California, where we are from, born and raised, um... Like at a restaurant, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I believe, I believe they earn more or at least minimum wage. Here in Tennessee, we found out that uh, servers, waiters, waitresses, whatever, they get like three dollars an hour, which seems crazy to me. I is, is that stupid? Like I know in other countries that's not a thing. It just seems stupid that a restaurant owner is charging full price, but paying his employees practically nothing, expecting you to make up their wage. It seems a little nutty, uh, but I don't know. I've decided to tip larger when dining out. It makes a difference. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm a pretty good tipper. Uh, I, I think I've never done, I've never worked at, at like a server job. I've worked some jobs that I've hated, really difficult jobs, but that's not one of them. And, uh, but I feel like that's, Dealing with people like that, people demanding things, people can be such idiots. And I think having to deal with them every day is difficult. So I do try to tip well. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'd have to say I do prefer corn cob over briar. Hmm. I've just kind of gotten into uh, briar, or briar, corn cob recently. 
Ah, dang it. Not smoking very well. Yeah, servers only earn a couple dollars an hour. That's nutty to me. Um, I do briar for English corn for all my aromatics. Wow. What? Why? Tell me more about that, Matthew Poole. I do briar for English blends, I would assume, like English tobacco. Corn for my aromatics. Huh. Uh, Daniel, what is your name? Daniel Shingleton, I think. I have some great smoking briars, but I tend to smoke my con. Cobb, I think that is. More than any of them. Interesting. Do you tip at a cigar shop? I don't know. I haven't been to a, a cigar shop in a long time. One of the things that's happened with this uh, YouTube channel, which is pretty cool, is I people send me cigars now. A real jerk. Not all the time, but I do get cigars sometimes, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Picky, I guess. I don't like the flavor mixing. Huh. You can taste a difference? See, I don't... I don't know, I, I couldn't, like, could you tell if you smoke, like, the difference? This is an English tobacco, this is a, an aromatic, I guess you can, it just depends. Some of them are, are similar to me, I don't know that I could tell necessarily. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, I gotta get a lighter again. Where did I put that lighter? I just had it. Oh, in my pocket. All right. Dang. So... Go, sorry, I don't, I don't mean to keep harping on this super chat thing, but it just blows my mind. I'm not asking for your money now. I just, I'm just curious, what happens on your end when you give the money? Like, what's the benefit? Like, I mean, obviously, I benefit, and I am so appreciative, but what, like, what, what's the appeal on your end? Does it do anything? I thought that the chat, that your, your like, comment gets posted somewhere or something. I don't know. I should be researching this, I realize. Not asking you live as I do this, but you're on that end, so. Curious. Mm. Ah, it's real windy in here. Oh, yeah. We benefit, you benefit. You guys are just a bunch of sweethearts. Uh, oh, it highlights the, oh, it does highlight the comment. I see, that makes sense. Because it does, like when you do that, it pops up in this colorful bubble and that's, that makes sense. Because if you had, like if I was streaming now and I like down the road, let's say I get lots of people watching a live stream, they would fly by the comments. So you, your comment would basically get seen. I see, that makes sense. Mm, that is incentive to produce. You are right about that. The thing, here's, here's the biggest thing with the super chat, is it uh, like, this is the thing for me, is it makes it more doable. Like, you know, cause I spend my days, like I, I work, I have a job, like I, I produce videos for people. That's what I do for a living. Most of my time is spent behind a computer editing videos for other people that pay me to create their videos. So to come out and do YouTube, it's like, I'm doing it because I wanna build the channel, it's for me, but it kind of takes away from money making you know? And so doing something like this, just to do a live chat and get a, a few bucks, tell you what, it makes it more doable. More like, well, it's not totally, you know, absent of any kind of monetary value. You know, it, it's easier to justify because it's not like I'm totally taking time away from time that could be spent making money directly for the family, you know? So that is pretty cool. All right. This thing's almost done. Hello, you see that flame? Okay. I feel like I'm failing at this cigar now. Doesn't want to light. Mmm. Oh, dang, that's so good. Ooh, if you like a bold cigar, oh man, if you haven't tried one of these, the Thunder, you better get the heck on that thing. It is good. <sighs> All right, let's take a walk. I'm tired of standing in here. Okay. Well, might as well give a little house tour because, uh, oh, let me close up my bag here, my tobacco bag before I leave. Oh, one moment, please. Yeah, I will pull in the ring. Okay. Uh, I just need to put this away. My little bag. Because I've just been leaving all this stuff in here. How's the house coming, says Chris. Mm, I didn't, sorry, didn't see your last name. 
and I need my water. Oh, hold on. Oh, by the way, look at this awesome little uh, tobacco leather tobacco pouch my kids got me. This thing is awesome. It has a place for your pipes or cigars. It has tobacco pouches. I haven't filled it up yet, but uh, I plan to. This is from a place local-ish to the Tennessee area. It's actually over in Alabama, but it's called Holtz, uh, Holds Leather Company. They make all the stuff there, and it's uh, really good quality stuff. All right, let me show you the uh, updates on the house. Quite a bit's happened since... Well, certainly since the last time I did like a house update. I have another channel called Blackburn where I'm supposed to be full is to update the progress of the house. But uh, I haven't posted on there in a while just because I'm trying to get trying to get things prioritized. And right now, this is my priority, this channel. So anyways, we'll start at the front. I'll give you a quick little tour. Mm. That thing is so good. All right, so you see here, it looks pretty bad, but we did get the front of the house. This is the old part. Um, starting to get siding on. There's gonna be a big porch out here. Let me see, Blake Martin said, any tips for how to get the best cigar use and flavor out of a cigar? That'd be a cool video. Hmm, I'd have to research, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I'll, uh, that would be a good video though. Difficulty here is getting up. Uh, these windows are not actually that old. I thought that they were. Doesn't matter. Uh, this stuff, by the way, we just got the house spray foamed and it looked like snow. Let me go around the other side to get in. This place is looking like a war zone. It's pretty, uh, pretty bad, but we're getting there. Siding went on to this side of the house. Not sure what color it'll be at the end, but getting things together. Um, this pile needs to go away. If anybody's in the Tennessee area and they have a, uh, a what am I thinking? Man, my brain's like shot at this point. If they have a dozer that they'd like to play around with, we want, we need to get rid of all this dirt. We had a guy scheduled, he was gonna be out here, but um, I don't know what happened. He's not here, we haven't heard from him. So, it's a temporary power pole. That's our corn crib. And uh, here's the new addition side. Things are coming along, for sure. Let's go inside, shall we? Do a little tour. Look at this thing. This was a door off of an old well house that we had out here that we had to get rid of. Uh, we kept it all, it's actually upside down over on another part of the property, but uh, it's cool. There's so much wood out here that we've collected. Old barn wood, old nails. Uh, we found a lot of cool stuff. Okay, this was, uh, I'll show you this real quick. My wife has worked her tail off on this. I've been working inside for the most part. I haven't been able to help very much at all, but she has pretty much done everything for this chimney. She literally was the mason. Like she put all of these rocks on here. She's been doing all of the, uh, well, everything. This is all of her. Now, I did this in the last video. Can you see the hidden Mickey? We are, boy, Disney. But, uh, well, anyways, it's a long story, but uh, there is a hidden Mickey in there. Kind of accidental. And then way up on top, we have an arrowhead. Can you see it? Pretty good. All right, there's a ladder over here to get us inside. I'll give you a quick little tour and finish this tobacco pipe. So I've got to go edit some videos pretty soon. Okay, oh God. It's uh, whew, quite a mess. But I'll give you, I'll show you what this is gonna look like. I did this in the last live video, but this is gonna be the best room in the house. This is like, everyone's calling it my room. It's like the gentleman's room. This is the, this is gonna be the uh, leather chairs and fireplace over there, chessboard, uh, bourbon, and cigar room. 
This is the most original room in the house too. All these old logs are amazing. They have all the ax marks in them. Uh, we just got done, my wife again, sanding the heck out of these after we sandblasted them. And uh, this is a walkway that goes from the master bathroom to the master bedroom. And then, when's the open house? That's, uh, might be coming, kind of. And uh, so this is like the entryway, sort of mud room. This will be a dining room here. There's some of that spray foam. This is actually the original uh, chimney and fireplace. This thing is from 1802. Well, probably between 1802 and 1804. This is the cool thing. Once we, once we have this room set, the dining room, this is going to be just cr so bizarre to me to light a fire in here and know that uh, Blackburn, Captain Blackburn, he was uh, in the Revol Revolutionary War. He was given this land after uh, his service during that war. And, uh, I mean, he was right here in the very early 1800s, warming him and his family with that fire. It's crazy to me. So this is uh, an addition that was added in 1902. From what we can tell, it'll be a kitchen. That's the spray foam. We have all these original beams in here that we're going to leave exposed. And then over here, you get to... Uh, what will be kind of the living room, family room, just the big couch, uh, hangout room. This is the new addition. And then kids bedrooms, another bathroom down there. And then this over here will be a courtyard eventually with a, uh, kind of pizza oven, outdoor fireplace. All of this is in time as time and money allows, but, uh, it's coming together. Plumbing's in, electrical's in, spray foam. Windows, it's coming together. Uh, all right, well, that's about it. I'm about done with this cigar. So, well, I'll know. All right, I'm about done. I'm gonna make my way back over to our trailer home where we've been living while we do this renovation and then I'll be done. So sad. Oh, where's the button? Let's see. I did wear my very masculine boots. <clears throat> no, I didn't. Obviously, I should have just for this video. All right, flip the camera. Flip it, I say. I need to get rid of this water bottle. This thing's taking up too much of my hand space. All right. Mm. That's good advice, Chris Nolan. Remember the big picture, it's not a race. You're right, but tell you what, feels like a race when the kids have been trapped. You know what's interesting? Like, so we spent almost four years on the road in our travel trailer, something I loved and would do again in a heartbeat. But when the trailer's not moving, you're just stuck in one place, really depletes the fun quick. So uh, when you have kids and a family, that's like, we want to get in that house because we've been in this trailer a long time. It's just sat here. And, it feels like a bit of a race, but you're right. There's no rush. Look at that corn crib. That thing is pretty cool. And um, there's the rest of the property. Sorry, I can't talk with that in my mouth. Here's the rest of the property. Well, part of it anyways. Flavor is most notable difference between cigar and a pipe in my opinion. Totally agree. And I much prefer a tobacco pipe. Um, for the most part, although this cigar is killer. But I think uh, tobacco pipe, tobacco, is hard to beat. It's kind of windy, so if it is wind noise, that's uh, just life, isn't it? That's life, wind is life. Whatever. Mm. It's, it's pretty much done. I mean, I could keep going on this, but I'm out of words. And I gotta go get some work done. Oh, let's end with showing paying our respects to uh, to Captain Blackburn here. So he was uh, he has quite the story actually um, from the Revolutionary War. But this is where he's buried. Ah, right there. Pretty amazing. Um, 
probably need to update some of these flags, but. And uh, his family also is buried out here. Pretty cool place. We just, uh, the grass was growing, so uh, we need to clean this up, but we are gonna be fixing this up and paying proper respect to, uh, to that fellow there. Anyways, that's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching, gang. More to come. Stay tuned. Watch the channel for uh, some new content I'm excited about. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. And man, oh man, really appreciate you guys who gave me money. That's insane. And uh, hopefully I can figure out how to do this better so that I can do more YouTube because that's, that's pretty awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. How do we hit, how do we hit stop that button?